Lori from PassionatePennyPincher.com and I cannot even tell you, like I am so excited. Today is the first day of the grocery budget challenge. If you have struggled with your budget and your finances and you've been crazy in the summertime and you need to rein in your money, today is the day. I am super excited. If you need to save not $1, not $2, but you would like to save maybe $5 or $10 or $20 or hundreds of dollars, I am going to teach you how. All you got to do is just click the link in the video and you can join our totally free grocery budget challenge just to hear about how to save. Y'all, I am excited. And if you will hit the share this button, we will enter you to win a $25 Amazon gift card for every hundred shares we get. We will give away a card up to, let's say three cards, let's say five cards, up to five cards. We will give those away. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Michelle. How many of y'all are ready? I am so excited. Okay. So I have to tell you that a few folks told us they did the the last time we did it. Rochelle said that she totally changed her grocery budget and saved so much money. Colleen said it made a huge difference in her menu planning. Stephanie and my friend Stacy said the same thing. So if you need help, we are here for you. So let's talk about the five biggest mistakes we all make at the grocery store. And I just want to pretend, let's pretend that you just dropped, hmm, Let's pretend you just dropped off your kids at preschool, okay? You just dropped them off at school. You got them off to school and you're heading to the grocery and you're feeling pretty cute about yourself and you're gonna spend some money because you gotta buy groceries, right? How many of you guys have that? Or even worse, let's pretend no one's watching your kids and you're there at the grocery store spending way too much. Guys, okay, this is the number one mistake that I am betting a lot of you all do not do. Hey, Denise, hi, Sheila. Thank you so much for sharing. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for sharing the video. Okay, so how many of you guys walk into the store and you have no idea what's on sale because you're just gonna walk into the store and enjoy your stuff. You have no idea. This is a huge grocery budget mistake. I'm gonna tell you lots of other mistakes, especially the peanut butter and jelly one, which is the worst thing you can ever do, so keep watching. But this is mistake number one. You don't have a plan. So number one, you're gonna fix that in the grocery budget challenge. You are gonna look at your ad online ahead of time and be good to go. Then you walk into the store. And what's the very first thing you see? What's the first thing you see? You walk in the store, especially if you're lucky enough or not lucky enough like me, to have one of these right there in the store, right there at the front of the store and you say, oh my gosh, I have survived summer and everything else. I'm just gonna buy myself a little cup of Starbucks. I'm gonna buy myself a cup of Starbucks, right? And you just threw $5 in the drain. $5, you threw it away. Maybe you spent $3.50 if you're awesome, but you probably spent more. So there's the first thing we do is we're so tempted. And then, oh my goodness, you guys are passionate penny pinchers, so I don't believe many of you do this. How many of you do this? Give me a heart or like if you do this. How many of you, Get your Starbucks to sip on as you're going through Target and you're like, oh, I got my Starbucks, got your $5 thrown away. Then maybe if you're at the grocery store, you see flowers. I don't think many of you do this. Give me a heart if you ever buy the flowers. I'm guessing y'all don't, but this is a massive grocery budget. Now, I love flowers. I love them. And if you have all the money in the world, buy the flowers. But if you're like me and you're on a budget and you want to stick to a budget, um, this, these flowers right here, these cute flowers. These cute flowers were just $7 that we just threw in the trash can. Now, if you have all the money in the world, buy the flowers. I am totally with you. But if you need to change your budget, don't be tempted by that. And then you walk over and you smell the bread. And the bread smells so good. And you think, oh my gosh, I have got to buy the bread. And you throw away maybe three more dollars. Okay, so now we're up to, and I better not lose my money in my trash can. Now we're up to $10 that we have thrown into the trash can, okay? No, we're at 13, 13. Okay, so then what's the next thing we do? Oh y'all, this is a big one. And I think lots of us are doing this one. We buy the watermelon because we see it and it's pre-cut and we don't have to do anything with it, right? We used to, how many of you guys see the watermelon here? How much is this watermelon? Somebody give me a guess at how much I paid for this. This watermelon right here, how much? Three. 99. Guys, click the link in the video to join the totally free grocery budget challenge. Click the link in the video. You can join us. I would love that. And thank you so much for sharing, guys. I appreciate that. I'm going to look to see how much we spend. $350. Oh, no, Becky. Becky, no. This is not $350. No, no, no. No, no, Becky. Not $350. Guys, this was $5. $4.99 in watermelon. Now, let me just show you what you might consider instead. Just maybe. Just maybe. This was $5 right here, y'all. This right here, 
I just want you to see the full effect of this right here. This is $5. This right here was $3.99. Um, yeah, that's a lot of money that you're paying for someone else to chop up your stuff, right? Okay, so it gets better. So the next thing you do, hang on, because I do it too. I've done it before. I've only done that, but I haven't done that one very often. Then, you're in the checkout aisle, and you see the gum, and your kids are begging, and you're tired, and you're done, and you don't want to do it, and you buy the gum, because it's just a dollar, right? It is just a dollar. It's not a big deal. It's just a buck, right? However, that's not the right one. Hang on. This one's a dollar. This one right here is about 17 steps behind you. So I want you to walk 17 steps back. You're going to get extra steps because you love this. 17 steps back, and you're going to get this one. Look at that. You're going to get a three pack for $1.50. You just saved a ton of money. Thank you, Evie, for signing up. Click the link in the video to sign up. Now, here's a big one, guys. And this is one. So, oh, so let's just say we just threw away two more dollars. I haven't even counted. How much did we throw away on the watermelon? Oh, we threw another $5 away on the watermelon. Okay, so let's talk about this. This is a big one. And we're going to have a come to Jesus moment right here on this one. How many of you guys have ever bought these? Give me a harder like. How many of you have bought these? Click the link in the video because you need to join us and you need to do this. How much have you, how many? Who give, give me a heart of light. This lovely, this is hysterical. I almost, this hurt me. As I bought this this morning to show you, I wanted to cry, okay? I just wanted to stop and we're gonna finish. I'm actually gonna make these with you in a second and we're gonna see how long it takes. $7.29. These are 72 cents a pop, 72 cents. Let me just show you. We have some bread right here that cost me a dollar. We have some peanut butter right here that cost me a dollar forty-nine. And this is Jif, y'all. This is good peanut butter. This is the hike of flute and rich people peanut butter. This is not the poor girl stuff because it was on sale because I knew the sales ad. Okay, so I got the good Jif. I did buy the cheap, did buy the cheap jelly. Okay, so right here is three dollars we're gonna see how many y'all guess how many peanut butter and jellies you think i can make out of these things we're gonna see how many we can make i actually have two loaves of bread seven dollars three dollars okay we're gonna have a talk about that at the very end we're gonna talk all about that next thing at the grocery store that we all do when we're talking about the five biggest mistakes you're making and how to fix them guys hit the share this button if you know someone who could save some money you will love it um, the link will work. Click the, um, if you, yeah, watch the link in the comments. We'll put it, we'll pin the link. So hopefully you can find the link because you want to join us. These Nutri-Grain bars, y'all, this is painful, painful. How many of you guys go in and you're like, my kids will only eat Kellogg's. I mean, my kids only eat Kellogg's. They have to have a Kellogg's Nutri-Grain bar or they will not eat it. Y'all, this is $3.69. It's right up there in front of you. They put it right there so you can see it big and fat and large right in front of you. $3.69. Your children are beautiful, precious, amazing humans, but they will live just fine with these, which are $1.49. So literally, this was, if you're buying these and they're not on sale, you are throwing away another $3. What did we, oh, 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 and I didn't talk about, we just threw away the $5 for the Uncrustables, right? So how much money have we thrown away so far this morning at the grocery store? So far, we are up to 5, 10, 15, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 32 dollars. Okay, so I don't have that many ones, so we're gonna switch my money out here so I can keep up because I gotta show y'all, you know, I gotta show you what I'm doing here. 32 dollars, we've wasted. Okay, so the next thing we waste money on, what do you think, what else do you guys think? Tell me what else you are wasting money on. Oh, y'all, this is one that's painful to me. This is one that, oh, this hurts, guys. What else, tell me what else you waste your money on at the grocery store, right here. This blessed apple pack. Now, I have to tell you that I this was $1.25. I could not even find one of the ones without the caramel, which I think are like $1 or 78 cents per each. I couldn't even find one because they're sold out because every mom in town thinks they have to buy these. This blessed sweet little apple is a quarter. So this is $1.25, this is a quarter. We're gonna throw another dollar, another dollar. And let's say you buy two of these. Maybe three. So you've just thrown away three dollars left, y'all. Okay, hang on. Next, next up. These sweet and salty. Again, this is just another generic one versus not generic. These happen to be on sale this week. Even on sale, the store brand is cheaper. Now, if you have a coupon, you can get it for the same price. Oh, y'all. This, how many of you? You've 
finish at the store, give me a harder like. What is your favorite soda? What is the one soda? What's the bottled water that makes you, that gives you joy when it's cold and you're walking out of the store and you're like, if I just have that, I can survive my children. I can survive putting away the groceries at home. I can survive it all if I just have that soda. So you pay, you pay, you pay a dollar eighty nine for this beautiful little, hang on, I gotta make my money right here. Fixing my money, you pay $1.89 for this because it's cold and it's right. Smart water, Dr. Pepper. How many of you guys, as you walk out, you grab that and it's $1.89. Now it's better, of course, not to drink anything. But if you bought these, look at this. These six of these, six of them are $2.50. Six. So you're paying literally 30, what are you paying? 75, what is that? Somebody do the math on that. $2.50 divided by six. I should have figured out the math. 40 cents. A dollar eighty nine forty cents. Just because it's cold, how many of you guys do this? And you say, but Lori, it was just a dollar. It was just a dollar. It was a dollar. It's a dollar every single time you go. You go twice a week, all year long. You just threw a hundred dollars in the trash can on Diet Pepsi. For real, you are doing it. I do it too. You are not alone. We are not going to do this anymore. We are smarter than that. You are savvier than this. Click the link in the video, you guys. It is so much money in this busting your budget. Okay, another thing we're going to talk about. Y'all, I was so mad as I was seeing this at the store. How many of you guys grew up on these? Either these are the Zesta crackers. And you think, when I buy that cracker, it is the cracker I need when my family is sick. Like when they are all sick, they need the Nabisco premium one. These are $3.59. These are $1.29. You are throwing money away. Throwing more money away. Okay, let's talk meat. This is a big mistake that people make all the time at the grocery store. This is the easiest way you can save. This is easy. Again, click the link in the video to sign up to join the challenge. But let's just talk about this meat prices right here. Meat goes on sale every single week at every single grocery store in, all over the country. So it doesn't matter if you live in Ohio or Alabama or California or Texas. I don't care where you live. Meat goes on sale at your local grocery store. If you shop Walmart, maybe not so much, but any other regular grocery store, you're going to have a deal. Here's the thing right here, this meat. If you will shop it on sale, this was $13.18. I would never pay $13.18 for one, but this week they're on sale. Buy one, get one free. I just saved myself $15. If you are not doing that, you are putting it in the trash can. Y'all, you are throwing your money away at the grocery store because you didn't do any planning. You were too smart for that. Okay, last thing you're doing. Oh, well, this is just a fun one because I went to the store and I had to show this to you so that I could justify eating these later. Um, if, you go to the, if you go to the movies and you don't buy these ahead of time, you're wasting like five bucks. So we're just gonna throw that in because we just are. Because that's money we all waste. How many of you guys do that? The last thing you're doing is you're afraid of coupons. How many of you are afraid of coupons? And I will explain how this the challenge works in just a second. That's such a great question. How many of you are afraid of coupons? How many of you guys see coupons and you say, I'm scared of that. I don't understand it. It's too much work. I just don't have time. I need to look at Facebook. I've got to check Instagram. I do not have time to clip those coupons. That's way too much work. Laura, you're asking too much of me. How many of you say that? I know, I know. I like to check Instagram too. I love looking on Facebook. Um, but this is 75 cents. This is $1.50. This is something I eat all the time. This is a dollar. This is a dollar. I'm scrolling through Instagram, wasting my time. I'm scrolling through Facebook. I see you on Facebook. I love you on Facebook. But you guys, your money is going in the trash can while you're spending your time on Facebook and Instagram. Okay, sorry, that was harsh. Was that really harsh, y'all? I, did I say too much there? Okay, so let's do go back. We're gonna go back to the peanut butter and jelly challenge. So click the link in the video. Someone asked how the challenge works. So basically, today, tomorrow, and Wednesday, if all five, for the next five days, we will be doing a grocery budget challenge. You are invited to join us. It's totally free. Sign up at the link. We will send you out daily updates to keep you encouraged and motivated. Oh, I'm so glad, Janet, you said you've been inspired. That makes my day. I love that. Okay, so you will be motivated. All you got to do is click the link in the video, and we will talk about it all week long. But these are the five mistakes. So if you do nothing else, I want you to do these things. You're not going to go to the grocery store, and you're not going to throw your money away on Starbucks. I love Starbucks, y'all. I am not saying Starbucks is evil, but if you do it every time you go to the store, you are throwing away hundreds of dollars. Do you want to go on vacation, or do you want a cup of Starbucks? Do you want to go on vacation, or do you want some fancy flowers? Do you want to go on vacation, 
Or do you not want to chop up fruit? Do you want to pay off your car? Do you want to not have a car payment? Or would you rather have premium crackers? Think about that, guys. What are you giving up? What are you sacrificing for what you really want? Okay, we're going to talk about peanut butter jelly now. Let me wash my hands real fast. And we're going to start making some PB&Js. So how many? Let's just look over here. Come on over here. We're going to come over to the peanut butter and jelly place. You need to hear this. Okay, I don't want to be too harsh, y'all. I don't want to be mean. But I also want you to have some encouragement. So this is money you are throwing away, and it is free money that you have already. Okay, so we are now going to do the Lunchable Challenge. Are y'all ready? Hit the share this button if you know someone who could use this, and you will be entered to win a $25 Amazon gift card for every 100 shares we get. So here we go. Here is our lunch boxes. How many of you guys? How many of you guys? Love yourself. The Lunchables. You are not alone. We all have mornings where we just want to throw a Lunchable in. But what I want to know from you is do you really want a Lunchable? Do you really want to not make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Or do you really not want to go on vacation? What is your real goal here? Thank you so much, guys, for sharing. I appreciate this. I'm so glad. And guys, people who joined the challenge last year, they have saved so much money. I promise this is worth it. It will save you a ton. So click the link in the video, sign up for the free challenge. Here we go. So we're going to make, and if y'all have any tips on how to make this fast, we're just going to do it. Okay, here we go. How many? I'm going to start going. And I'll answer your questions about grocery budgeting. If you have questions about grocery budgeting, let's just compare. Literally one. I'm just going to do all peanut butter here for a bit. Remember these? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's see. These cost three dollars. Or, or I'm sorry, these were seven dollars a piece. And we're gonna. What's the time? It is ten o two. Let's see. And to make ten, ten o two. How fast can I make these sandwiches? And I'm doing lots of peanut butter because I'm being fast. How many of you guys are not making lunches because you just don't want to? You can make these at the beginning of the week. What you can do that makes it really easy, if you put peanut butter on both sides, it keeps them from getting soggy. So um, if you're worried about having soggy sandwiches for your people, you can do that. And I am doing a very generous amount of peanut butter. My family will be so happy when they have very nice, fully peanut laden sandwich ones. Okay, so we've got to do, remember we're making, we're trying to make as many as they have in that Lunchable. And I'm counting my time here. How many are we up to? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I have two loaves of bread. It's going to cost me, and I'm peanut buttering all of them just so that they have, um, so we don't have to worry about them getting soggy. I'm trying to read your comments, which is hard to do. Thank you for sharing. I appreciate you guys so much for sharing this. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so here we are making all the peanut butter sandwiches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I think I'm going to get 17 out. So here is, and remember, I'm putting peanut butter on both sides only so that, actually, that's not even, that's going to be way more. That's just one loaf of bread. Hang on. We got 18. Okay. So 18, and I'm not even going to do... By putting the, gel, the stuff on both sides, you just keep yourself from having to, um, from it getting real soggy. And if you hate soggy dough for your family, that's going to help you out. So we're going to do nine of these right now. Um, and some of them are definitely more peanut butter laden than others. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Okay, y'all. I started this at 10.02. It's now 10.05. Okay. Literally, I guess I should spread the jelly. Should I spread the jelly for my people? They probably would appreciate that, right? Well, at least spread the ones that aren't really jellied. Guys, click the link in the video to learn how to change your grocery budget. It is right there. This is what we're talking about today is how to save a massive amount of money at the grocery store just being smart. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, nine. So we just made, so it took me three minutes, guys, three minutes to make literally all those peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Okay, now for those of you who are saying, how do I keep them ahead of time? All you're gonna do is just put them in plastic bags. So these cost me $7. So in three minutes, in three minutes of work, I saved $4, because the bread and the peanut butter and the jelly, and I still got leftover peanut butter and jelly. So I saved about $5 in about five minutes. That makes my hourly rate, I don't know, like 50 bucks an hour. That's pretty good for just a stay at home mom, right? Really, truly y'all, this is so easy and so often we feel like we have to do so much to change our grocery budget, but truly guys, it just takes doing some prep work and doing the work ahead of time and not being afraid of this. If you can hit the share this button, we will enter you to win a $25 Amazon gift card. Um, and we are also doing the ultimate grocery budget challenge. You can click the link in the video to join us. We are gonna talk about how to massively, massively, massively change your grocery budget all week long. Guys, this is craziness. So this cost me, did you see how much this costs? And I probably could make a whole nother and it took about five minutes. If you're feeling like I just don't want to make lunches, guys, if you have all the money in the world, buy the Incrustables, have at it, buy all the Incrustables. It is totally worth it. If you are wealthy and have no problem with your finances, buy all the Incrustables you want. It's totally fine. But if you're like me and you want to have things besides food, don't do it. It's not worth it. Okay. I'm going to try to read your questions too. If you have high school and they won't eat, they won't eat peanut butter. Well, if yeah, it won't. And you've got to figure out what you can do. Now you can freeze these ahead of time. I do think they get probably a little bit soggy, um, but that's why I have peanut butter on both sides. So I will freeze these. And um, honestly, what's really nice is I have one kiddo who only eats peanut butter. So I will make her some that are just plain peanut butter and not the rest. Okay, there we go guys, right there. All done. $7.29, $3 and three minutes of time. Plus I still have tons of peanut butter and jelly left over. It's a huge time sucker. Okay, let's talk watermelon. How many of you guys, I'm gonna leave these over here. How many of y'all buy watermelon at the store and you think it's worth paying for them to cut it up for you? So this is $4. And 49 cents right here. Hang on, I'm gonna rinse off my thing real fast. Okay, so how many of y'all sit there and think, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy the watermelon because I need a snack for my kids and this is super cheap and super easy, right? How many of you guys do this? It's so easy to just buy this one thing. And hello, if you are new here, I am so glad that you're here today. You have made my day by hanging out with us. So this is $4.49, right there, $4.49. I was gonna show y'all what I think I'm gonna do. Because I just want us to be able to count the amounts. Guys, we made, remember, we already made $5 an hour. Okay, so now we're gonna make way more. This is $4.49. How many of you guys have ever bought the watermelon and said, I'm in a hurry today, I don't have time. I am fine with you being in a hurry. I'm good with you having a hurry. I am good with those days when you cannot buy the watermelon and cut it up. But that can't happen every single day. There's no excuse. I'm trying to figure out, I'm not a great watermelon cutter. I do it this way. In fact, I'm probably the worst fruit color cutter. My husband always hollers at me. Somebody needs to come to my house probably and teach me how to cut things. But even with that, I can still do it. 
So literally this watermelon right here cost me $4 for the, this was $5 right here. Okay, we're gonna see how much we can get out of one watermelon. And what's really nice is you can put these in the fridge and have these ready for your kids. And like I said, I will be the worst watermelon cutter ever, but I don't care because it all tastes the same. This is really bad. I know some of y'all are horrified at my watermelon cutting skills, but I will tell you I'm on Facebook Live and it makes me nervous. So there's that. Okay, so this was our same. Can y'all see this? You can't see this. Okay, can you see? This was our same watermelon. It tastes good no matter how you cut it. Thank heavens, because my husband laughs at me whenever he sees me cutting things up. He's like, Laura, you're a mess. I did not go to culinary school. I've just been to mom's school. If I cut off a finger on Facebook Live, that'll be really bad. Okay. So remember, I paid $4.49. Let's just, this was $4.99, <laughs> y'all. This is where you are throwing your money away because you don't, because you don't have time. And like I said, if you truly don't have time, I'm okay with that. If you truly work 40 hours a week and run kids 8 million places and have the money to throw away, that's fine. But I want to point out that if you have any time to hang out on Instagram or Facebook or Netflix or anything else, you have time to cut up a watermelon. Okay, so if you have time to do anything else, you have time for this. And I know it's a pain, and I know it's not fun, and I know it's messy, but you have to decide what do you really value. Do you value vacation? Do you value paying off car loans? Do you value having a home pay off? Do you have student loans that you need to pay off? Where are you throwing your money away? You don't have to throw it away. You get a choice every single day. Every time you go to the grocery store, you're saying, I want to pay full price, or I don't want to pay full price. You're saying, I want to pay $4.49 for that watermelon, or I want to pay... $3.99 for this watermelon. Guys, it's still coming. Do you see how much watermelon we're talking about here? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh, is there an Ibotta rebate on, on watermelon right now? Leslie, you just made my day. Thank you, Leslie. I should have done that before. I didn't even look at my Ibotta this morning before I went to the store. If you're new, we are going to be talking about Ibotta. We'll be talking about coupons and rebates. We'll be doing ways to save. It's going to be an amazing time during the grocery budget challenge and I if you struggle if you're new here and you're like I have no idea how to fix my budget and I need some money if you need some money you need to keep up with us because this is going to be easy and I'm wasting way too much watermelon because I'm doing this fast okay there we go so we're still cutting up the watermelon we're not even there yet right 350 did I, did I mention this was $3.50 and that was $4.99? Guys, click the link in the video to join us for the Grocery Budget Challenge. Do not go into this school year spending too much money. This is your time to totally change your budget. It's the time to save a ton of money. It will make all the difference in your finances, I promise, just by doing some planning. Okay, so here we go. This was not even done well, like not even done well. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to bag this up for my kids. Look, I just want you to see. Oh, I have more. Hang on. There's more. I thought that seemed like not very much. And this is like not even getting all the watermelon. Like I could be getting a much better job. I'm just doing this fast because I'm here. And I always get nervous when I'm cutting things on Facebook Live because people make comments. But you know what? It's all good. Okay, here we go. So there we have it. This was right here, four dollars. Now I'm gonna try to open this, which is not even gonna open. Well, I was gonna try to open this to show you so we could compare the amounts for real. That's gonna drive me crazy. Is there a way to open the there we go? Okay. Y'all, I cannot get into the watermelon. It is totally, totally closed up. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is a reason not to buy this right here because you cannot get the darn thing open. Oh my goodness. Okay, Kroger, that was not awesome. This was, this was their $4. This was 
This was $3.99. Do you see how much money was thrown away here? And that was not even being cut up well. Like not even cut up well. And I don't even know whose hands touched this stuff. Like not that people aren't awesome at Kroger. I'm sure they wash their hands. But I would rather it be my messes than somebody else's messes. Do you see how much money you could be throwing away at the store? It's crazy. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to package this stuff up. And I will answer your questions as I'm packing up my watermelon. Actually, let's see. So all I'm going to do, and I won't do all of it. Remember, so we've got our 10 Uncrustables made. Hang on, can you see this? Okay, so we've got our Uncrustables made. My fruit done. I've been on working on this for less than 15 minutes. 15 minutes, guys, to save a ton of money. You're saving so much money. Now, if you have all the money in the world, then do not do this. Buy the full price stuff at the store. Don't do this stuff. But if you're struggling with your finances, y'all, this is so easy. Okay, so let me answer your questions. What are your questions about grocery budgeting? I'm gonna leave this mess behind me and I'll show you where we talk, and we're gonna talk about how much money we are really wasting. I'm gonna scooch this over here so I can see everything. Okay, so click the link in the video. Y'all are also patient to hang out with me on Facebook Live. I hope that if you were watching, you were also maybe chopping up or making some peanut butter and jelly or doing something fun too. So here's the thing, guys. Literally, just in what we did today, just in my trip to the grocery stores this morning, let me show you how much we threw away. Let me just show you. That's not true. Those, I, that was more 20s than should have been in there. Just this morning, 20 bucks, 25 bucks, 30 bucks, 35 bucks, 40 bucks. 60, I'm not sure. $62. $62. I'm not sure that I threw that much away. I'm not sure. Some extra 20, an extra 20, I think, got in there. Do you see how much money you are throwing away at the grocery store? It is a massive amount of money if you are not watching it. And this is not even, guys, this is not even hard stuff. This is like chopping up some fruit, y'all. It's making some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. It is not that hard. So if you are struggling with your finances, if you have all the money in the world, Check out Facebook, check out Instagram, watch Netflix. Don't cut up your own stuff. But if you are struggling and you're saying, I don't know why we don't have any money at the end of the month, let's get this together. Sign up for the free challenge for sure. Your kids love the squeezable lunch boxes. Is there any way to make that cheaper? My kids asked for the squeezable lunches the other, the squeezable applesauce the other day. I said, you are crazy, you're not getting it. So they did not get it. Cause I was like, there's no way I can throw away my money on that. What are your top three ways to save money? Top three ways to save money. Oh, that's a great question. Probably my number one is to always check the, and this is at the grocery store. So I'm just talking about the grocery store. Top three ways would be number one, to always know the sales ad. So I always know before I go into the store, what's on sale. My favorite thing, honestly, and we will talk about this a ton in the grocery budget makeover, is I use coupons, but I use my digital coupons through Kroger. Now, any store that you have is gonna have a way to save. They make my life really, really easy. So that's my number two way to save. And number three actually might be probably buying some things on Amazon Prime Pantry. We'll talk about that as well. Oh, Felicia, you joined the challenge. Thank you so much, guys. If you have not joined yet, click the link in the video. Remember also, when you sign up, um, to share it with a friend, because if a friend does it with you, here's the thing, is it is easier to stick to your goals when you're doing it with other friends who are doing it. So if you're struggling with it, be in a group together, encourage your friends, share the video. Remember, if you hit the share this button, you will enter. we will enter you to win a $25 Amazon gift card. Um, why don't I use reusable containers? Leah, I could definitely use reusable containers and save more, but they don't always make it to the dishwasher and they get nasty. And so for the pennies that I pay because I get the Ziplocs on sale, I feel like it's worth doing that. Um, another, one way that I love, thank you so much, Julie and Odette, you joined the challenge. I'm so excited. Lynette says one of her favorite ones. This is huge, ladies, huge. And I didn't even say this. There's so many good ways and we're going to talk about them all. One is shopping my fridge, pantry, and freezer before I ever go to the store. So before I buy anything, when I'm looking at my menu, I'm figuring out what do I already have here first. I hate going to the grocery store. Going to the grocery store to me feels just awful because I know how easy it is to spend too much money. So I will really, really be smart about checking my sales ad um, or checking what I have already at home and using that up before buying anything else. Um, you just signed up. I'm so glad. Oh, you just moved to a new other area. What about other... No coupons as you live in Western Australia. Oh, Western Australia, knowing your sales ad, whether you're in America or Canada or Australia, wherever you are, knowing what is on sale at your local store and buying on sale saves so much. Totally join the challenge. I am so glad. 
Um, you can buy the pouches and filling station online and make your own applesauce at home. That's a gr I have seen those. I haven't done it. I guess we should try that one time. Um, oh, you just put your first grocery. Who just said that? I am so excited for you. Who just said that? Cindy, you just said you put your first menu plan for the week and you're going to see if it works. It's going to work. You did the challenge last time and loved it. Brittany, thank you. You Okay, listen to this, guys. Brittany did the challenge last time. She loved it. She plans to do it again. She already cut her budget by $50. Just last week, she saved $72 using grocery coupons alone. Brittany, I love that, and you totally made my day. Guys, I'm telling you what. If you feel like you're struggling in your finances, there is no other area, and I will say this until I die. Y'all will find me on my deathbed, and my children will be like, my mother said this forever. There is no other area in your family's finances that you can control like your grocery budget. I cannot save you $100 on your phone bill today. I cannot save you $100 on your mortgage today. I cannot get you $100 off your student loan bill. I don't have any way to control that. But every time you walk in to buy that watermelon or those Encrustables, every time you go in the store, I can change that. I can change that for you every day of the week. And I can do that every day of the week every week of the year, every year of your life, forever. It is a choice. When you walk into the grocery store, you are saying, I have plenty of money. I can waste my, I can spend, I can waste, spend. How are we gonna say that? I guess I gotta say waste. I can spend my money on, and I gotta find it because I just lost it. Where did I put it? Y'all, I get all excited here and then I lose my good stuff here. I can throw my money away. Every time you walk in the store, you're saying, I have so much money, I have so much money that I can buy the $4 Starbucks. I have so much money, I have plenty of money. I can throw it away. You can do that. Every time you walk in the store, you can say, I am so worn out and I have so much money that I can just put it on this $1.89 Diet Pepsi when these are 40 cents each. I am so rich that I can just spend whatever I want. You can do that. And if you have all the money in the world, by all means, go ahead and buy the $1.89 Pepsi. Buy the $4 Starbucks, enjoy it and love it all. But if you are saying to me, I have no money, I cannot keep control of my finances. If you're saying, Laurie, I feel like I can't get control of this, right here, it is not fun. It does not always feel awesome. It is not always amazing. But I'm telling you what, when you have your long-term goals, when your long-term goals, when your family gets to go on vacation because you didn't Starbucks your life away, Anybody, when your family gets to go to out to dinner one night because you said, you know what, I really, really would love a nice yummy meal out. I don't really want the Diet Pepsi and so I'll give up this $2. Guys, think about how much. And if you go to the store five times a week, it is so much money. It's so much money. Just decide what do you really want? What is your really big long-term goal? And I want you to do it. You are so smart. You are so capable. You can change this. You do not have to spend too much on your grocery budget. You can make some darn peanut butter and jellies. Y'all saw the way that I just cut, chopped up that watermelon. I am a mess, but by golly, it does not matter. The watermelon got chopped. You do not have to be anything fancy. I'll answer any other questions, then I will hop up. Um, but Starbucks is, yeah, Starbucks. I will tell you, I do splurge on Starbucks, but I only do it with Ibotta money. So Stacey, you are so welcome. Thank you for your sweet encouragement. You changed your ways and you hit $400 for four peoples in two weeks. You signed up last week and bought pre-cut apples. Oh, Cindy, don't buy the pre-cut apples. If I have nothing else to tell you, that's what killed me yesterday. When I was at the grocery store and there were 9,000 apples, 9,000 apples in the store because nobody's buying the apples. There was not one left. All, I mean, there was not, this was the very last thing of pre-cut apples they had on the shelves and it hurt me to buy it. Y'all, there were 9,000. There were plenty of these in the store. So apparently all the mamas where I live are all buying these kinds of things. They're throwing away the money. Um, hopefully the link is working in the video. You cannot go to the store. It's, it's so much money, guys, and you're just pre-cut Food. Oh, that's a good point. Stacy just said pre-cut food is getting recalled for E. coli. I, I'm not saying we don't have days when we're busy and we need to run in and grab this because our kids are going to soccer or something and they need something. I get that. So I'm not saying there isn't a time for this, okay? I'm just saying if your general rule has become that you're doing this, don't say I don't have money to go out to eat or I don't have money to go on vacation or I don't have money to pay off my car because you're throwing it away. Yeah. The, Becky, the pre-cut ones do taste, taste gross. My kids, of course, love them. They love, I will tell you, the ones they love the best are at the 
Sam's Club has them. If you're going to buy these, can I just tell you the best deal on these? Because I did find it when my kids went through a season where they were kind of addicted. Um, Sam's Club has a big box of these that you can buy. They're the only places that I found them, um, and they do love them, and it's the cheapest. But, yeah. Thank you, Michelle. I'm so glad you joined. Grab a banana. Thank you, Nicole. No cutting. Go for the bananas. Um, anyways, guys, I just hope this encourages you. We will be back again tomorrow and Wednesday and Thursday and Friday talking about the challenge. I think Shannon is going to hop on tomorrow and talk about the challenge. Um, somebody says tips on save on deli meat. Brittany, deli meat is high. It is expensive. Definitely make sure you're always buying the sale price deli meat for sure. Um, it definitely adds up. Guys, I just want to encourage you. You have control every time you walk into the store. Every time you step into the, every single time you're deciding, I want to pay full price or I want to get a bargain. I don't care which you do. If you have all the money in the world, do whatever you want. It's all good. But if you struggle, if you feel like I would rather have some more money, please, please, please join the challenge. You can do amazing. It's going to be a great week. I'm super excited that you're here and I'm going to clean up my mess of watermelon and everything else now. You guys be encouraged. Have an awesome day. Don't waste your time too much. Not that I don't love Facebook. Y'all, if it weren't for Facebook, none of you would be here. So I love Facebook. I'm not saying there's anything wrong. I scroll through Facebook and Instagram. I'm just saying don't sacrifice saving money because of something that you don't really need. You guys have an awesome day, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.